Yeah. From the BART train to a tour bus. Still the same game, except I pull in more sluts, more butts, more bucks, never giving. Hey, what's up guys? Tylee here with Secure Team. We have a brand new and quite amazing, if I do say so myself, piece of International Space Station live feed footage that was recently discovered by my buddy over at Street Cap One. Um, we've mentioned him many times before. He operates a, a phenomenal channel. And this guy, I'm telling you, he deserves way more views than he is getting. So I want you guys to head over to his channel and show him some love and uh, subscribe. He has uncovered what some are calling a fleet of unidentified flying objects moving in the distance behind the International Space Station. Clearly moving behind it. So obviously this cannot as easily be ruled out as ice particles or reflections from the space station window and we'll talk a little bit more about this here in just a second but i want to play this over and we'll zoom in here try to get the best shot but we have as i can count uh, about six ufos passing behind and judging from the distance i would think that the size of these objects whatever they are would be fairly large much larger than nasa's typical excuse of ice particles uh, we must be looking at icebergs here in this footage, because they would have to be large. And you'll also notice in this footage that these things are not spinning, uh, typically with ice crystals or dust particles, which have been seen, no doubt, in International Space Station footage. They have a habit of tumbling, uh, usually pretty fast, and you'll see this in the light reflections, where you'll see this flicker moving at an extremely high rate of speed, so... What we have here are objects that would seem to be moving at a very steady pace. And furthermore, we have the famous feed cut, which NASA has been known to implement a time or two. And it really is an ingenious way of stopping the feed when they don't want us to see what's going on. And usually, you'll get a blue screen, or otherwise what is known as a signal loss, which conveniently NASA even states on the live stream webpage that this does in fact happen, which of course easily allows them to do it more and more under the guise of a signal loss, or you'll get these transitions where instead of simply cutting the feed under the guise of a signal loss, they will switch to a camera inside ground control where you get this wonderfully dull view of the NASA employees sitting around staring at these projection screens here. And of course, this is a much more subtle way for them to move away from a certain clip without just cutting the feed and arising suspicion. And it works. You know, it, it takes the focus off of the feed. That's the point. Whether they cut the feed or they transition to a shot of what we're seeing here, they've ended our view of the feed momentarily until these objects finish passing by. And most people won't be the wiser. Uh, I think that you'll decide that there is definitely something going on and they don't want us to see. Which is another reason why they use such low-resolution cameras aboard the International Space Station. Now, of course, you would think in this day and age, they would have 4K Ultra HD camera setup, which I firmly believe that they do. 
but those recordings are not shown to the public. No, we get these almost 1980s style VHS recordings that even when documenting a clear piece of UFO footage is so lacking in detail and definition that we really can't tell what we're looking at anyway. Which makes it, of course, a lot easier for them to offer a 24-7 live feed. Because at best, even if an alien were to fly up and tap on the window, we still wouldn't be able to make it out. And we'd no doubt have the same old, it's ice crystals excuse uh, put forth by NASA and their apologists. So, an amazing piece of footage. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, another strange discovery that was put up a few weeks ago, I, I wanted to feature this real quick because it goes with a finding that we made uh, back in 2014, uh, is this piece of footage here. Alright, so uh, posted a couple weeks earlier, and what I love about this particular clip is we're not just seeing a, a circular blob of something, you know? We can actually see a shape here, this sort of V shape, and it's reflecting sunlight. So we know that it's definitely a three-dimensional object in space. Briefly appears in one single frame. So whatever this was, it was moving extremely fast. Let's go ahead and zoom in. If you're new to the channel or you're new to studying these UFOs that have been captured at the hands of NASA cameras up in space, there is a very special correlation between these V-shaped UFOs that actually link directly to NASA's logo. And once you do a little bit of research and you start looking at all of the various logos or logos that are connected to NASA, whether it be mission logos, mission patches, even the logos of other space agencies, almost all of them featuring, in one form or another, this V shape, or what has been known as the chevron. The uh, vector or chevron symbols, coincidentally, or maybe uncoincidentally enough, is featured in damn near every single space-related logo. Uh, you're seeing some of those here, and of course, there have been many theories as to what this chevron symbol stands for. Some have said, well, it's completely harmless. It just stands for the shape of the hypersonic craft that have been developed by the military and the space agencies. Others have pointed out that this chevron symbol has a deeper meaning and links directly to many of the UFO sightings, at least the ones that we've caught publicly, and how many of them look almost exactly like this symbol and that it in fact relates to something secretive, something in space that, uh, again, not only NASA has featured, which is also strange because almost every other space agency features the exact same symbol. And you're seeing those here, whether it be China, Russia, Japan, India, Canada, they all feature it. So there's a lot of mystery behind the symbol. Others say it has a demonic meaning, of course, there's a group of flat earthers who believe that it represents something to do with the concave earth or flat earth. Um, you know, <laughs> that's a topic for a whole another video. But yeah, I just wanted to throw that out there. The symbolism is there. And again, we have this V-shaped UFO, which has been seen before many times. And that brings me to the clip that I discovered and posted on the channel way back in 2014. And to this day, I believe this remains as one, if not the most damaging piece of evidence that there are alien ships out in space. And that is this clip that you're going to see here. So check this out. All right, so once again, the object appears in the darkness, it's very faint, and immediately, NASA freezes the frame and then cuts it. 
so they really didn't want this thing to be seen what you're seeing here is an enhanced version where i've upped the brightness so you can really make out this thing and you can tell without a shadow of a doubt this is a craft this is a ship of some sort all right this is not a giant ice particle this is not debris this thing appears from nowhere and it's in my opinion obviously made from some sort of metallic material yet again this pointed chevron shape uh, v-shaped craft and as you guys can see this thing appears in the background you'd almost miss it had you not been watching this at the exact moment it appeared but luckily i used to sit for hours and hours on in recording this iss footage and then i would go through it all and review it and so when i caught this i had luckily recorded it and um it was just an amazing finding jaw dropping stuff and it is to this day it's one of my highest viewed videos and for good reason i mean i don't think the evidence gets any clearer than what we're seeing here so of course let me know what you guys think and and remember what i said even if you're a skeptic i'd ask that you at least admit to the fact that a lot of the ufo footage we've shown you that has come from the iss cannot all be uh, space dust or ice crystals and i want you to remember that this whole ice crystal thing was put forth by nasa I remember a couple of years back, once channels like mine started to gain popularity, and these ISS videos featuring these UFOs started to get a lot more attention on the internet, while NASA started to get nervous. And so what did they do? Well, they had one of their very own, uh, one of their astronauts, a man by the name of Tom Jones, who flew various space shuttle missions, um, just sort of came out of nowhere and started doing these interviews with people like the Huffington Post, as well as posting on his own personal blog that, plain and simply, there are no aliens in space, that no astronauts have ever seen even a shred of evidence of UFOs in space, and that every single piece of footage showing something strange coming from space is nothing but space debris or ice crystals. Uh, and, of course, we know for a fact that multiple astronauts have made public their belief in aliens and UFOs and have flat out admitted that they saw UFOs while up in space, whether it was on the space shuttle, whether it was flying to the moon and back, they've admitted it. And so Mr. Jones basically came out and made a very bold claim and said point blank that, well, these astronauts who said these things must have just been mistaken. Uh, and, I mean, you guys will have to read up on some of his articles. And, I mean, the level of what almost feels like hatred and vitriol uh, this guy has in the way he talks about people who research UFOs. Uh, I, I remember reading an article of his on one of his blog posts. And we actually did a video about this, I think it was about a year or so back, uh, where he basically told the Huffington Post that he is no longer a fan of UFOs. And again, was talking about how he had never seen a UFO in all of his missions that he flew, and that no other astronauts had seen UFOs, and that there was absolutely no proof that aliens exist outside of our planet. And he wrote about this on his blog where he basically said that it's extremely sad and regrettable that young people are being so naive as to think that there are UFOs out in space. And that any notion that astronauts have witnessed UFOs in space is a quote, deliberate falsehood. And I guess what I'm trying to point out here is that these sudden attacks from one of NASA's own astronauts against specifically these UFO sightings and the fact that people were looking into them, it all seemed very forced, if you guys know what I mean, very deliberate, very calculated. And as I said, it, it began just as we started gaining popularity and others who were discovering these anomalies and who were witnessing these craft flying out in space, doing maneuvers, making sharp right-hand turns, stopping on a dime, uh, dematerializing, and then reappearing again, and just doing things that ice crystals and space debris simply do not do. 
So, you know, NASA got worried, and then suddenly we start getting all of this hate uh, from one of their own pet astronauts. So, you gotta remember, not everything is black and white. There's a lot of gray in this research. And the only people out there who are naive are the ones who take NASA at their word and believe everything they would tell us at face value. So with that, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know what you think about this amazing new footage. Be sure to stop over and subscribe to StreetCap1. And as always, stick around because I've got a lot more coming. New UFO footage on the way. So enjoy the rest of your night, and I'll see you back in just a bit. Stay safe, guys.